In addition to the Tic Tac sightings covered in previous videos, other things have been seen and videoed in the areas set aside for the Navy to train and conduct weapons tests, notably what is referred to as the Gimbal sightings. While UAP, UFO enthusiasts categorize UFOs, UAPs as having the five observable characteristics which in many cases all five aren't demonstrated, I have three things which if fulfilled provide an alternative explanation to a Twilight Zone event. These explanations are, 1. Compatible with known physics. 2. Able to be accomplished with currently demonstrated technology and, 3. Consistent with generally accepted military needs. An explanation incompatible with physics precludes the existence of possible technology, so there is no need to go further. If lifeforms couldn't survive the G-forces in a vehicle that moves like that, then there aren't lifeforms in what was seen and what was seen, may not even be a vehicle. It is something else. Move on to other possibilities. Proof of currently demonstrated technology eliminates the humans can't do it argument. If we can do this here, why not do it there? Item 3 opens up for consideration how something unusual on the face of it in the commercial or civilian spheres, but possible using known physics and technology may exist in the military sphere because of different needs. Why would anyone go to the expense of creating things which mimic craft? It's not possible to move cargo or passengers on them. But, the military has a need for diversions and decoys. So let's work the problem of the gimbals using these concepts. While the Tic Tacs form the pattern of plasma holograms, appear to move like them and appear and disappear as they can, the gimbals on the other hand come closest to being beam-driven solid objects known as lightships. Unlike the projected plasma holograms, these are solid objects made from light metals which are powered externally by one of two methods. One, lasers heating the air under the craft and or ablative plastics generating reaction forces, or two, microwaves which energize rectinas which generate electricity and create a magnetic field which moves ionized air through the craft as well as detonating the air below the craft. Like anything, they began with the theoretical, but working models have been produced and they have been documented. I have a link in the description to a video covering an Air Force program toward developing such a system for spaceflight before the Navy sightings. Notice that both the so-called gimbal objects and the lightship design seen in the videos are the same and look like tops. The stated purpose of these research projects is to create a craft which can be propelled into space initially using the atmospheric gases and then through the vacuum of space using a small amount of fuel. The most telling aspect of these projects is who is funding them. It isn't the civilian space agency NASA, but the Air Force. They were intended for a military use and not a civilian use. The 2007 report shown here indicated that the craft in the 1990s reached an altitude of 38.7 meters. However, these reports were delivered at public events and the scientists would not have been providing the current status of work in classified programs. A report such as this would provide something to make the reporters and public feel supporting these projects was worthwhile and encouraged students to become interested in these areas while not revealing how far things had progressed. It would also throw off our potential adversaries as to what we have and what they might themselves look into developing. Further, the work was done using the available lasers left over from the Strategic Defense Initiative of the 1980s designed to be used in the vacuum of space. We don't know what work may have been done, if any, in the microwave spectrum transparent to the atmosphere or other areas. Even if at this point these objects can't be propelled to achieve escape velocity, but can still move quickly through the atmosphere, then there are military uses for them. As with deception frequently found in military projects, the stated public goal isn't always the real reason, but a cover story. In other cases, Technology created for one purpose is applied elsewhere. Along this evolutionary possibility is that if a defense project can't achieve its intended purpose, the project managers and contractors will want to propose another purpose to save the project and their jobs. One thing is certain. If these lightcraft exhibiting the same configuration as the gimbals have been proven to be something that can be propelled through the atmosphere, then the gimbal sightings in the atmosphere are explainable as a piece of military technology functioning as decoys. There is the old saying, if it looks like a duck, swims like a duck, and quacks like a duck, then it probably is a duck. But the old saying isn't true. It might be a hunter with a floating decoy, 
duck call and a shotgun. The hunter creates traps for ducks. The military creates traps for humans. 